Hey everyone, Rights Crispy here. I've been given the green light by my attorney to share the video of when I was illegally arrested. So stay tuned for that, but right now I'm using this drone footage of Indian Rock speech from this morning uh, to show you the beach closures and also to use it as a backdrop to give you a little bit of insight as to the events that led up to the illegal arrest. But first I want to thank Vince Pawlowski of the Pawlowski Mestrilli Law Group for his diligent efforts and his letter to the state attorney, which I included in this video that you'll be able to read. And aside from the fact that I did nothing wrong, I believe that letter played a large part in having the charge. Mm, drop! And they handle all kinds of legal matters, so you can find them at megajustice.com. All right, here's an aerial view of where the incident occurred. The guy in the blue line flag truck cut me off by crossing this solid white line and we were at the very last entrance of this parking lot. So he could have easily gone around to Seminole Boulevard and gone in through that entrance as well. But we both parked, we both got out of our cars, there was no horn honking, no yelling, there was no road rage. And I explained to him, sir, you can't cross the solid white line like that. He had trouble understanding me, he doesn't speak English very well. So I took a picture of his flag and his van, and he didn't like that, so he called the cops on me. Here's the 911 call. The 911 operator goes on to argue with him about the address. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hi, man. Uh, I'm not an emergency, but I'm right now on the Ulmerton Home Depot. And I have flag on the support for police service, you know, on my van. And one guy stopped and uh, yelling for me why I put this flag on my van. And I don't know what I should do with him. I'm still here. Okay, hold on a second. You're at the Home Depot uh, off of Seminole? Uh, actually, Ulmerton, I think. Oh, here. Yeah, S Seminole and Ulmerton? Oh, here. Yes. Okay. Please. Well, I showed up. Uh, is, is it Ulmerton here? Sir, hold on a second, Ulmerton, please. Right? Ulmerton. Here, Ulmerton. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sir? Yes, ma'am. I'm showing that as 10689 Olmerton Road. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you need police assistance? I don't need him, but I don't know what I should do with this guy. He's yelling for me. You know, I have American flag, and on my van, he's yelling. He said that under, uh, that under the law, you know. That my okay. flag is like a blue... blue uh, okay. Hold on one second. You know? Hold on one second, okay? All right. Two for me. I'm sorry, emergency. Fargo, no rescue. The address is 10689 Olmerton Road for Home Depot. Thank you. Fargo, police, how can I help you? La, 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 la. Larga fatotum della città, largo. Oh yeah, what are the police coming for? Why are the police coming? To give you a ticket? For your traffic violation? This guy just cut me off in traffic with this fucking thing and he can't even speak English. Are you calling the police? All right. And look, he went in the store. I was about to leave. Now he's following me again. 
Sir, go in the store. Leave me alone. I was leaving, he comes back after me. <laughs> yeah, tell them if they want to be on YouTube to hurry, because I'm going to leave. Here we go. He's the one who called. I'd like to know what the crime was that he called about. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's your name and badge number, sir? Sure, take your time. It's not that hard, is it? Alright, pay attention to the guy leaving the store right now. He actually is the hero of the day because when they were putting me in handcuffs, he was shouting at the cops saying, why are you doing that? All he was doing was recording. So whoever you are, man, thank you. From where I was standing, you guys can see this is pretty much the same exact spot. This truck was parked right here. If you move up a little bit more, Brandy, right in front of that one stripe and over to the right a little bit. Stop right there, yeah. Now bring that back. What, how many feet does that say? What do you have there? Uh, Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half feet, almost thirteen feet. So, I'm not going to stand in the sun, sorry. Alright, well can you stand over there because I don't like you standing behind me. We'll move somewhere else. I'm, I'm not, not going to move from here, here, sir. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time to step away from me. Is that a lawful order? Yeah, absolutely. Why is that? Because I do not feel safe with you staying this close to me while I'm investigating. Well, this. that's not a lawful order, sir. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time to step over here. Get your I'm supervisor, gonna... please. Get on the other side. Get of your car. supervisor. Sir, gonna... Who's your supervisor on duty? You're going to meet my supervisor. Put your phone down, sir. Are you taking me to jail? Put your hands on jail. Fortunatissimo per verità, la 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 la
miglior cuccagna per un barbiere, vita più nobile non si dà. La 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 Rasoie e pettini, lancete e forbici, al mio comando tutto qui sta. Lancete e forbici, rasoie e pettini, al mio comando tutto qui sta. Vera risorsa, poi del mestiere, con la donnetta, o il cavaliere, con la donnetta, la 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 la, con il cavaliere, la 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 la, la la. Ah, che bel vivere, che bel piacere, che bel piacere. Per un barbiere di qualità, di qualità. Tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, donne e ragazzi, vecchie fanciulle, alla parrucca, verso la barba. La sanguigna, per se mi lento, tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, ma la parte tutta presso la barba, per se mi lento, ehi, figaro, 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 ahimè, ahimè, che furia, ahimè, che folla, uno alla morte. Per carità, per carità, per carità, uno alla volta, uno alla volta, uno alla volta, per carità. Figaro, son qua, ehi, figaro, son qua, figaro qua, figaro là, figaro qua, figaro là, figaro su, figaro giù, figaro su, figaro giù, con poco pochissimo so come il mio, con il fattato della città, della città, della città, della città, della città. And in conclusion, I was taken to the Pinellas County Jail, where I witnessed many Eighth Amendment violations. There were three people who were put in restraint chairs, and they were left in them for well over two hours, which is the maximum. On top of that, no one was fed the entire time I was there, which happened to be from 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Even though I had my case number before anyone did, and I bonded myself out, I was left there until after midnight, so they can charge you, the American taxpayer, another day for me to stay in there. How's that? Thanks for watching.